In this video, we're going to talk about the flow collapse uh, buttons that can be added to panels that are within a panel layout. So you can see here we have a simple um, UX component that has a panel layout that has three panels within the panel layout. And if I click on this uh, button over here, you can see that panel 1 and panel 2 are going to collapse, uh, giving us a full screen view. And then if I click over here, then uh, panel 1 and panel 2 come back. Whereas if I click on this button over here, then panel 1 is going to collapse and then come back. So let's go now and look at how this was uh, designed and then discuss what the use case is for this uh, feature. So if we go back to design mode here, we see that we have a panel layout that goes from here to here. The panel layout itself has been set to left to right flow. That means that panel 1 will be first, then panel 2 to the right of that, and then panel 3 to the right of that. Panel card 1 itself has been set uh, to have an explicit size of 200 pixels, and panel card 2 has also been set to an explicit size of 200 pixels, and then panel card 3 has not been given a size, so therefore panel card 3 will take up the remaining space, whatever remaining space uh, there is. So um, the uh, use case here is, uh, for example, where panel card 1 and panel card 2 might contain, say, menuing systems or navigation systems, etc. But panel card 3 is being used for the main work area of your application. And then once you've navigated uh, in this first panel or the second panel to get the appropriate content into the work area, you might you might now want to switch to a sort of a full screen view. And so by clicking on this icon over here, you can collapse those uh, two panels that come before it and get um, a full screen uh, workspace and then when you need to get back to your navigation panels then you can just go and expand those two panels and so the reason that it's called a flow collapse uh, button is that once uh, this panel and this panel over here, panel 1 and panel 2, uh, once they are uh, collapsed from the flow they become invisible and uh, therefore panel card 3 takes up all the space and then once they get um, uncollapsed, in, in other words reinserted back into the flow, then they become visible. Now in this case the flow is left to right so therefore the uh, collapse um, action takes place in this direction over here, but if the panels were set to flow from uh, right to left or top to bottom, then we would see um, different behavior. So let's go now and take a look at that. So let's go back to design mode right now and change the flow here from, um, from left to right, say, to uh, top to bottom. So now when we go here and we run this, we can see that there's um, the first list panel card 1, there's panel card 2, and now if we collapse we can see that now we have a full screen view, now if we expand we get to see our panels, if we collapse at this level over here then just panel card 1 is going to uh, collapse, and so there we go there, now we have a full screen view of panel card 2, and then we can go ahead now and expand it. So currently we're just using the default appearance of the buttons, but if we go back now let's change this back to um, uh, left to right, and then let's go to um, this uh, button over here and uh, change it from a text mode to image only and then go now and look at uh, working preview. We can see now we have that image and that image. So finally let's go back to the builder and see how the uh, flow collapse button was actually defined. So you can see that for panel card 3 we have a header, a panel header, and then inside this header we have a button and we've given the button an ID of a uh, flow button and currently we have its style set to image only and then when we go to panel card 3 itself we can see that there's a property here called um, has flow collapse button which we've checked then we've gone and specified that the ID for the flow collapse button is flow button which is this button over here and then we can go and specify um, uh, different properties for the button when it's both in its collapsed state and its expanded state and you can see this is where we specified the icon for the collapsed state and then also the expanded state. So the ability to collapse the flow of panels is a very powerful aspect. Thanks very much for watching.